There's an error that a lot of people run into, at least I used to, where I would purchase a third party preset from Massive and I would install it and I would download it and then it wouldn't show up in Massive. And it didn't seem to be the file format, so that wasn't the issue. And sometimes some of the presets would show up and not all of them. For example, I have one here called Vital Future Base, Vital Future Base. And the only thing showing up is the ARPS and the base. But I know this leads, I know this plugs, because that's what I purchased it for. So some of these are working, and it can't be the file format, because there's some of them working, but not all of them are showing up. Sometimes you might run into this issue even more so. For example, under this one, Complex Draw and Dubstep Volume something, only one of these is showing up, and there should be a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to show you what's causing this error, and then how to fix it, and how to fix it quickly. So let's go into this example here, Vital Future Base. There should be plucks, leads, and more stuff, but it's not showing up. So let's go into sounds where we have to find the actual folder. You'll have to locate this on your drive. In this case, I found the folder. It's under the name Production Master Presents Vital Future Base Presets. And there should be chord, leads, pads, and plucks, but they're not showing up. So let me show you what is showing up, and you'll see why. If I go to base, Come out of this sec. Go to base. There's one called another one. So let's look at what is good about this one. Well, if we go to attributes, we can see that there's something called a bank name. And this bank name is very important. It shows up here, and this is how Massive knows what to display. And if this is missing, it doesn't know to display it here. So I'm going to go back to the browser. Let's look at the chords now. If I hit this chords and I select one of these, and I go to attributes, you'll see there's nothing under bank name. So we need to have the name of this so that Massive knows to show it and display it here. So I'm going to call this vital future base, and I'm going to hit save. So this one is called ch ness. So now if I go back to the browser and I look under future base, I can see one called Airness. If I go to the bottom, there's Airness, Chords Airness, which wasn't there earlier. Okay, so now we know we, what the problem is. The problem was that it didn't have a sound bank, or a bank name. So does that mean we have to go and do all of these by hand, one by one? Well, yeah, yeah, you do. But it actually doesn't take as long as you think because you don't have to be using your mouse to do this. You can do this all with the keyboard. So I'm going to select Airness and I'm going to go into Attributes. And if I were to hit the down key on my keyboard, you can see it's now gone to the second preset in that folder. So go up is one Airness, down, brownie, and so on. Okay, well, that's handy. I can use that. So I'm going to Select all this, control A or copy, whatever you want to do. You need to copy that and then you hit down with your keyboard arrow. Then you hit paste or control V. Now I can hit save by hitting control S. So using my keyboard, I can scroll, copy, save, and do this for all of them. So I'm just scrolling down through all the presets in that folder. until I get to the end, which I know I'm at the end because I've come back to the beginning name of the preset, which is called Airness. So if I come back out of this, go back to my browser, come back to the sounds, under Future Base, if you had a Future Base, we go to the bottom, we'll see we have a whole bunch of chords, CH, 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 CH chords, and so on. So that's how you fix the issue where your presets are not showing up in Massive. Hope that was helpful.